All right, well, there's the whole experiment that uh, I was shooting for when I first started this thing. That is a, a little, uh, very simplistic kitchen table build steam engine that is driving an electrostatic generator that's powering an electrostatic motor. And uh, this is what I was really started out to try to accomplish. And it's running on canned heat. A little uh, boiler arrangement I made. And it's just this canned heat here. And uh, it's very, very, very uh, crude and simplistic, but uh, it's proof of a concept that I wanted to try was that uh, you don't have to have a machine shop and uh, extremely good machining skills to build a working uh, steam engine that can actually power something. And so there it is. And uh, that's just the uh, little electrostatic generator. That's the pill bottle um, influence generator that's basically a modified boss design. And then that's just a uh, electrostatic motor that's being powered by the high voltage that that generator puts out. It's high voltage, low amperage, static electricity basically. But uh, the little steam engine is doing the job right there. And then of course, like I say, this is the little uh, soup can. Uh, it is not glued together. It's actually uh, welded. And then the ends are rolled. The uh, metal is rolled together. And uh, that's how this thing is sealed up. It worked quite well. There's the other end of it. You just punch the holes in the top of a tomato soup can, let the soup out, clean it out real good, and then put your fittings in. And that's my pressure relief valve right there is the cork. Then I'm adjusting the pressure by sliding that vinyl tube in and out of that uh, brass tube. And there's blow-by. And the blow-by coming out of the bottom of that somewhat controls the pressure going to the little engine. And that's uh, that's the setup right there. Thanks for watching.